Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a caselet. It says that in a toy shop there are five toys: <coughs> doll, teddy bear, remote car, board game, and an airplane. And the cost price and selling price are among these values. Okay. And the selling prices are different for all the toys, and cost prices are different for all toys. So five items, five prices given. Okay. And the cost. Uh, <clears throat> so some more information is uh, given about them. Okay. So basically, what we will have is uh, we have these five items. That is doll, teddy bear, remote car, board game, and airplane. So we will have two things, three things basically. We have selling price, cost price. and profit or loss so we know that if selling price is more than cost price we will have profit and if it is less than the cost price there will be loss okay now one thing that we need to keep in mind is since these five values are being used both as selling price and cost price the net profit or loss will be zero okay net profit loss zero na chahiye that is very important thing to uh, keep in mind and while solving the question okay uh, now let us put some information that is given here another thing that i will tell you before that is since these are all multiples of 50 consecutive multiples of 50 okay so what we will do is divide by 50 theek hai now i will tell you the reason when we divide by 50 it becomes easy for us to deal with these numbers theek hai ye chote numbers hai inke sath deal karna aasan hota hai bade number mein difficulty hoti hai okay so that is why we will treat these numbers as 19 20 21 23 and 24 and accordingly multiply by 50 to answer the questions okay and you see for yourself you try using these numbers and then you try solving using these smaller numbers you will feel the difference okay but keep in mind that you have to divide by 50 everywhere so if it is saying that uh, it is uh, the profit is 50 so you have to consider the profit as 1 rupees now let us see this thing the selling prices are different cost prices are different the cost price of remote car is equal to the selling price of airplane okay so cost price of remote car that is this thing remote car cost price is equal to selling price of airplane and in both these things the shop incurred a loss so for loss let us put a negative sign loss means that this selling price is less cost price is high okay so cost price in both the cases cannot be extreme right so it cannot be 24 okay because otherwise here it will be profit and at the same time it cannot be 19 right because it will be a uh, it will obviously be a profit right so cost price has to be within these values okay on selling teddy bear the shop incurred a profit so in teddy bear there is a profit the profit earned by selling any article is more than rupees 50 okay so rupees 50 means more than 1 so p is greater than 1 okay and profit is not same for any product so we have distinct profits okay we will have different profits and that is greater than 1 it can be 2 3 4 anything similarly the loss incurred for any two products are not same right so loss are also different values now the toy shop earned a profit only on two products so on two products it will have a profit and it is known that the cost price of the board game is lowest so board game ka cost price is lowest that is 19 okay while the selling price of teddy bear is 1150 so that is 23 so selling price of teddy bear is 23 right the profit loss made on selling the doll and the teddy bear are equal in absolute terms so whatever is the profit in selling the teddy bear that will be the loss here so that is same and uh, that is the magnitude is equal that is what it is saying okay now in this case this will be profit because of two reasons first of all they have mentioned that the shop earned profit only on two products even if they did not mention that 
we would have got this thing why because its cost price is the lowest right if cost price is the lowest selling price has to be greater than this okay so there will be profit on this item okay now very important thing here is that profit loss here is same it is saying that the profit loss made on doll and teddy bear are equal in absolute terms so this net net will be zero okay this value net value will be zero so that means this net value should also be zero okay so that means whatever is the profit on this board game that is equal to the total loss on these two things very important thing to consider okay now what could be the profit on this board game right so let us say if the selling price see the selling price cannot be 90 okay if we put the selling price as 20 so profit has to be greater than 1 if we put 20 so profit will be 1 which is not possible if we put uh, 21 right the profit will be 2 okay now is it possible or not let us think about it okay uh, see this cannot be 23 this cannot be 19 because it is profit this cannot be 23 because selling price already 23 given okay now it has to be 21 or 24 if we take the selling price as 21 the profit will be 2 and this profit has to be equal to loss of both these items right i hope you understood this because this is zero this also net net should be zero so if profit is 2 that has to be equal to the loss of these two items now 2 can be expressed as 1 plus 1 only okay the reason why i told you to take divide by 50 is this because it is simple to understand using these numbers now 2 is 1 and 1 that is the only possibility okay the loss incurred for any two products are not same loss cannot be same for these two so from this we can reject this case as well so we will get the selling price of this as 24 okay now the profit is of 5 that is 250 rupees okay now the selling the profit is of 5 so that means this profit can be either this loss can be 2 3 or it can be 1 and 4 okay now uh, we do not know the value of x right? let us try to find out what could be the value of x now x these were the values of uh, board game selling price now let us find the value of x x cannot be 19 okay because clearly it is 19 it cannot be 23 or 24 now it can be 20 or 21 okay so let us take let us take the value as 21 okay and we will try both the cases and get to the result right so if we put x is equal to 21 let us put in black ink so that uh, we get the result right if we put 21 here now we have to have loss here okay so there are two possible values uh, and this also has to be loss so, uh, like there are two possible values, like 19 is available and 20 is available, right? So, if you put 19 here, the loss will be 2, okay? And uh, then the here also there has to be loss and it should be a loss of 3. That means we will get 24 here, okay? If we put 20 here, let us see. If we put 20 here, what will happen? We have to fill. So, we took this 21. So, if we put 20 here, what will happen? Let us say if you put 20 here, we will get a loss of 1. You have to get a loss of 4. That means we need to put 25, which is not possible. Okay. So if we take 21 here, so the only value we can put here is 19. And subsequently, we can put 24 here because the loss is compensating for this. Right. So this net net is 0. Okay. Now we have one value left that is 20. Okay. And now we have two values to fill that is 20 and 23. Okay. Now if we put 23 here and 20 here, what we will get? We will get profit of 3. We will get a loss of 3. But in this case, two items have same loss. Two items have same loss, which is not possible. Okay. So we will get back to this. We tried with x is equal to 21. That did not work out. So we will put x is equal to 20 and try to solve this thing again.
we'll put x is equal to 20 here and then see that what are the subsequent values so if you put x is equal to 20 okay uh, now we are left with two values that is it has to be a loss so it can only be 90 right because that is the only lower value than this so we will get a loss of one and we should get a loss of four here to make it a loss of total of five so this should be 24 and this is 19 20 21 is remaining okay 21 we will put here uh, then we are left with uh, 21 and 23 so this will be 23 and this will be 21 so loss of two profit of two loss of two that is 100 okay now that we makes perfect sense that total loss of this is equal to profit of this net profit or loss should be zero that is uh, obviously understood because we are adding the same values here okay and this profit is equal to loss of these two which we derived which was not given we had thought of that punches perfectly this is equal to this satisfied right these values were this value was given to us and this value was given to us so that makes our complete solution okay now we can multiply by 52 answer the questions right so what is the selling price of remote car so remote car selling price is 19 19 to 50 that is 950 will be the answer what is the difference between the cost price and selling price of board game so board game the difference is 5 so multiply by 5 the answer is 250 so actual values are into 50 okay why did i take small values it is easy to calculate these things 1 2 3 4 5 you could have easily calculated rather than calculating 150 and 150 and so on which article has a selling price of 1050 that is 21 in our case so selling price of uh, 21 is of the doll which statement is true selling price of board game is 1050 so board game the selling price is 1200 that is incorrect profit made by selling a doll is 100 so doll there is a loss the cost price of airplane is equal to selling price of board game cost price of airplane selling price of board game that is the correct statement okay profit made by selling board uh, board game so board game uh, the profit is this so it cannot be equal to anything so obviously that is incorrect so that is the correct answer so here's the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.